Hi, this is Sunny Cheese, and I'm here with Code, and I'm Bio. Yep, and let's introduce the players. We have... Blah. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> As the Red Protoss. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can read it yourself. Naragonis Gonset. As the... Blue Protoss. Light Blue Protoss. Rabbit as a purple Zerg. Interesting. Yeah. And Lothlum as a blue Protoss. And on the other team we have Shadow War as the Dark Green. Looks like no Dark yes, Green Zerg. Dark Green. Dark Green Zerg. No go. Our as own no go. Orange Protoss. Yep. Yellow. Havoc. Yes, Havoc. Yellow. Terran. And last. But yeah. not least, Shazam as, as the pink. pink. <laughs> perfect. That was perfect <laughs> name for that color. I'm sorry. That it's is so OP. Production that, Just that color makes it OP. Yeah. Terran is OP anyway, but just that color makes it OP. No go. Going down for that nine pylon, I think. Nah, sure. Just one pylon to make sure they don't rush. They got two Protoss on their team after all. Oh, yeah. And uh, 12 spawning pool going down for... Six pool. No, it's not a six pool. It's a twelve. Twelve pool. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve pool and nine pylon for black or blah, whatever. <laughs> and a forge going down for a uh, light blue. Looks like he's he's either going to rush or he's going to go for uh, early expand. D. I think fast expand because he laid down a pylon down here. Yeah, fast expand sounds right. Right here, yeah. So, blue, also going there for that forge and double assimilator. Assuming he's going voids. Ah, uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, there goes down the photon cannon, like expected. And uh, looks like purple's uh, beginner player is a zerg. It looks like he's gonna go for a fifteen pool. That's not much of a pool, but uh, I think twelve because, you know. He built a ton of drones in that time. He got the 15. Well, as it goes. Yeah. Blue's got a forge up and going. Yeah. No-go's got a late gateway. No, it's actually standard. I would say standard. Mm, I think he's uh, I think he's going as Mylar heavy on this one. So he might be going voids. Maybe some uh, heavy upgrading for ah, some stalker rush. Here, ha, sneaky. Early expo. Yeah, but hard to defend because, look, you should have taken this one instead. I don't know. That one's more out in the open. And he's kind of supply-blocked yellow, though. Supply-blocked yellow? Yeah, it's right next to his base where his would have gone. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, it gives uh, it gives him a good defense because he's got yellow defending that point and uh, he's got green defending it from the other side and then he's got no go to provide us and then he's got himself to provide assistance for anything else. Yeah. Nothing unusual. So, who's the one by the door that wants to come in? No go? Hey, we're just doing your cast. Come over here. Join us. Hello. It's your OP team, I think. That's what you called it? Oh yeah. Cuz from my point of view, they seem really OP. Like, it seemed like they were all working together. Oh, I think I've taught you some build orders. This is actually really good. Except... It's kind of late for the cybernetics core and the gateway. And you need to get warp gate. Warp gate. Warp gate. Come on, warp gate. But I like your idea. I mean, if you're going heavy voids, then you should get these two assimilators and the fast expand. Right? That's that's yeah. a key to uh, that's a key to a quick void. Uh, yeah. And you... With if you are going with one, your main, just your main base, you can get two Stargates if that's the only thing you get is Voids. Oh. But you can get if you get a third Stargate, you need to get at least an expansion. Looks yeah. like Red's going to steal some gold. Yeah, I mean, that's smart. Really he smart. He might be going for Voids as well. Maybe. I mean, yeah. I guess so. Bye, No-Go. Bye! And... The voice of God will return! Oh, I guess this is. I don't know why, but I a think lot Blue's players. worried about some fast air, and he, he set himself up so he doesn't get ambushed. At least he can get some of his probes out of there while they're distracted. Oh yeah, uh, there's this one strategy I've seen where 
uh, Terran's put a couple siege tanks here and then scan and then immediately take out all of these probes that are mining. Isn't that insane? I know. I think that's why. Um, let's check out purple here. Roach? Heavy Roach? And also steel and gold. Not bad, not bad. Helpful strategy, quick minerals. Yep, and as we predicted. And here we go. Looks like uh, no go first go void for, for orange. That's no go. Good job, no go. <laughs> At least he's getting that fast. Hey, spin. red's getting uh, warp gate, and so is blue. I think blue's going for the immortals here, just Holy... getting the warp gates. Holy cow. How many is that? He's still making them. Is he? No, I don't think so. Holy cow. He's just making three Forging forges so he gateway. can get the uh, upgrades pretty quick there. Oh, that's ten. That's ten gateways and three forges. If he really wanted to make them OP, he's either going... S oh, wait, he is. Yeah. He's going to get blink and maybe even charge. I think blink, if he's going this many gates. Yeah, it looks... I think... Uh, oh. Yep, I was right. Looks like blue's going uh, marauder heavy and he's getting the warp gates either for defend... Defending purposes, or he's just getting it so that if he gets ambushed, that uh, well, he might have some units to hold the tide. About? Which blue are you talking about? Dark blue, right here. Lithium. Uh, he's getting immortals, not marauders. <laughs> Oops. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Everyone makes errors. But, ooh, Hellion Scout going for a... Uh... Let's speed things up. Because we're on the time limit, too. Oh, wow, he's going after the probes. Ouch. Just like, Ouch. Just like somebody I know in a 1v1 match, huh, Code? <laughs> Would that be me? Yes. <laughs> this is Hellions. Oh, with the new... Ow. Oh. But still, even with the new patch, Hellions are really good. Uh, nothing new. A couple of Zerglings. I think roaches. he might be going for Banelings. Banelings? Nah, it looks like he's going for air. Uh, Muta's, that's right. It looks like, uh, Stealing Green's board. going for air. That's one person on No-Go's no team, but I think, uh, Purple's going seven Muta's now. Wow. I think he's, uh, he's, tra he's already got an upgrade going, and I think he finished an upgrade a few seconds ago. Yeah. I think he's going upgrades before he gets the actual air, which is a seriously Ooh. bad idea. Ooh, Red, like I said, is going heavy stalkers. And if he attacks now, he actually will have a chance of killing... Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, look at that. He's already... He's got uh, one upgrade going for each of them, and he's got an observer just in case they... He's. I think he's worried that No-Go might, uh, might go Mothership or No-Go might go Dark Templar. Wait. If he gets the observer, if he gets onto this ledge and has the observer, he can blink on with his blink. Stalkers. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I never used that kind of strategy, so I guess that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> and stealing another gold expansion... Man, that is just that is just mean. Oh, oh, here that we go. That is OP and mean. See, like I said, he can blink on to the high ledge with that observer there, and is gonna quickly mop up all of these. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. He's got mutas, and they're good in a horde, especially against stalkers. Uh, he just took care of all of this guy's mutas. I think Green's gonna die. Yeah. Green doesn't have a chance now. Oh, oh it looks like yellow's coming in to no, block him no, off. This is not good enough. This is not good enough. It's okay. It's something, right? And they've got the siege tanks for the splash there. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> not to be a pessimistic guy like I am. No go. He's got uh, two voids. Not so good. Oh, I think. Uh, I don't think he was doing too well today. Oh, but then Shazam coming in to save the day. Oh, I guess red is mopped. Oh, but then no-go, taking out the gold with his void rays. Smart idea. I think he Especially... should take out the other gold next to green, though. But I don't think he knows about this, do they? They're not even mining there. Look at that. That is that is nice. Seems they're leaving it fresh as a just-in-case kind of Ooh. plan. Ooh, but voids aren't good against stalkers. No splash here. And carriers. And carriers. For light blue. And I... Like I said... Take it from me. Carriers are OP. I am fantastic at massing carriers. And carriers against Void Rays or Mothership, vo uh, carriers always win. Especially if you at least get one armor upgrade. I mean, just those few seconds of lasting longer can really make a difference. Yeah, I agree with Bio. 
and the gold expansion for red has been taken care of. And I think he just has enough to take out all of these stalkers. Oh, uh, no, nope. blue comes. Colossi on the board will not do anything. Ooh, no-go's no air might take that out. They have a good vers versatility. So I think if uh, green masses some, if, uh, if they keep them under control, no-go's team has no chance against the other team. But if no-go oh, no -go no takes team. those voids... I think Nogo needs quite a few more voids, though. Yeah, I mean, his base just got demolished there. And his opponent has a couple Vikings that will also be, take, be taken care of. Vikings are really good against one carrier. <laughs> no, I don't think there's anything Nogo can do about this. I mean, wow. Carriers are just OP. Ooh, and, and then he comes in with of... corruptors and mutilists. I think if gr I think if Green had masked some uh, some more mutas, he could have easily taken out all those stalkers, especially those immortals. And then uh, yellow, the voids would be. I'm sorry, the marines would be good against uh, corruptors, and actually, I think they'd be pretty good against mutas. Actually, myself. Uh, you should move these corruptors before a hundred of his gas is wasted. That's right. I think he was keeping it there to keep Nogo from getting voids up, but uh. Ouch! Those ooh. marines are going to die painfully. Yeah, there's there's nothing you could do about that. I think the Colossi was definitely a nice touch when going against the Terran players. Wow! But uh, you get a siege tank in there. I don't think they stand a chance. Ouch! Nogo is gonna die from all of these carriers. Yeah, I, I think. He has uh, Eleven of them. I think yellow should probably have gone battle cruisers. Battle cruisers come up carriers up pretty good once they're uh, grouped together a bit. Ouch! Look at all these marines. Taking out a single carrier already, man. That was that was actually pretty nice. Yeah. Even with full upgrades, I mean, it's just uh, yellow's doing great. Wow. I mean, stim, but no upgrades. I don't. I don't think that's a wise choice. I think he needs a few upgrades, especially if they have carriers. Yeah, I agree. More Colossi going on the board for blue, and light blue still going for carriers. One thing about Colossus, though, I don't recommend massing Colossus as they are only a versus ground unit and can be attacked by air ver that can and can be attacked by air that only attacks air. It's kind of weird. They're like tall enough that way. I recommend only getting five, maybe ten at the most if you're going against Marauders, and then having some damage absorbers like. Uh, like immortals in front and then you should definitely have some AA in the back to take care of any any stuff that they might have yeah I agree but I, I don't think Nogo's team is going to last any longer in this game do you? nah I think the uh, I think what made a big difference was they was uh, the Terran players decided to only mass marines and no marauders and that definitely made a difference especially against the Colossus Still. And once the Colossus, once they got the OP Colossus, I think uh, I think this game was wrapped up right there. Yeah. The carriers were a nice touch, but I don't think carriers can stand alone against three players, especially not against a bunch of, as not especially not against a bunch of Marines. Marines are just OP that way. Ha. <laughs> well, uh, I don't think there's anything to say, but. I think good job the other team for uh, just one thing to say though yellow probably should have really gotten a l probably really should have gotten upgrades that would have been a, a really needed thing brood lords and it looks like uh pink surviving on the other side of the board barely along with <laughs> light blue light blue just uh, came over and found him and looks like they're just having fun yeah, I mean, that GG. Even though Nogo lost, I think he knows why he lost and to do better next time. It's uh it, it wasn't a bad game. Nogo definitely Nogo's team definitely stood a chance, but I think they they uh I think it was just the variety of units that the other team massed and that they uh they used them to cover each other's strengths. I mean, they had got a bunch of colossus, right? But then they had stalkers to cover the to cover the colossus up. So, yeah. Um I think it was a lot of teamwork on this one. Yeah. Uh, well, we're Sunny Cheese and signing off. I'm Code. And I'm Bile. See you next time.